Hey guys, as you can tell, it is freezing based on what I'm wearing. This morning it was super, super cold, so I just left all the ponies in with their blankets on, uh, except for Kite. Kite won't wear a blanket. He will think you're stupid and destroy it if you put a blanket on him if it's not like five degrees outside. So he's not wearing a blanket just yet, but Chester and Dakota both have blankets on. So this morning after I fed, I left him inside with their blankets on, but now that it is the middle of the day, the sun has come up. It's warmed up quite a bit, so everybody can get out, enjoy the sunshine, stretch out, and graze. Is that comfy? Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, Chester. Y'all cozy? <laughs> Mm -hmm. The first thing we're gonna do is get Kite out into his huge pasture. He is probably not happy, he's yelling at me, about having to be inside right now, but I just, since he's older, I do kind of want him in when it gets, you know, freezing outside. Oh goodness, he wants to go see his friends. I'm coming. He has a huge, huge, huge stall, so he's kind of got it made in his old age. He has like all of this, all the way down to the end back there. That's all his. No kisses. He has this whole pasture to roam around in and he does have a really nice shed in case it gets windy or anything. He can just hop in there and hang out. <laughs> he is just always looking for food, aren't you? You have all of this. I know it's not great, but you can go snack. And you should have some alfalfa still in your shed. Chibi. <laughs> now that he's out, we can go get the other boys' blankets off and let them go out in their pastures <laughs> for a while until I come back and feed dinner. So they'll have the rest of the day in their pastures. Shut the gate. <laughs> Make sure Kite does not escape. <laughs> On to the other two. Now what we have to do is get off their blankets so they can go outside. I don't turn out in blankets. That's just me. Um, I think it's too risky. So I don't do it. But they get to go out plenty when it's not raining or snowing. And today we are going to swap their stalls. Chester's door leads out to a bigger pasture and Dakota's leads out to like a little makeshift pasture I made with an electric fence. So Chester got to be in the big pasture all day yesterday. So today Dakota is gonna get to be in the big pasture all day today. So let's get those blankets off. I'm sure they are nice and toasty under there and they are definitely begging for food. Can you get your blanket off? Have you had a good day? Is this morning good? Yeah. And I got a snack on a lot of alfalfa. I guess that was offensive. 
Not sure why. She just loves to lay down in all those shavings and get shavings all over everything. I'm watching you. You better not do it. You go outside, get some sun. <laughs> Over the head makes that a little bit funny, but they're really used to them. They don't really mind it at all. a blanket like rack or whatever fancy people have I don't know I've just been throwing them on this gate <laughs> definitely don't have a rug warmer I'll tell you that Dakota is very sneaky he will definitely try to leave while I'm trying to get his blanket off that is just how he is Whoa, where are you going? Do you still have alfalfa? Oh, you did? Look at you. Okay, can I get out? <laughs> he loves his hay game forager. And there is still some alfalfa in there that he's working on from this morning. So I'll probably put his forager in Chester's stall with him because Chester lost all forager privileges because Chester tries to destroy it instead of like using it how it's supposed to be used. He just completely like annihilates it and takes it apart. So he lost forager privileges, but Dakota is really good at it and has been really enjoying it. <laughs> They will get those back on right before I shut them up after they eat their dinner tonight. Okay, let's stall swap. We are gonna stall clean, so I'm gonna leave the forager out and then when I'm done cleaning the stall, we'll put it back in for him. Now we're gonna open their doors so they can go outside. Once both doors are open, I'm gonna throw them alfalfa out there to kick them out. We're gonna shut the doors and get to stall cleaning. You gonna go outside? You coming in here just to pee? Is that what you're doing? You just peeing? Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave, come on. Come on, we're going outside. We're going on a trip to the outside. Not to run over the camera. We're going outside. This way. Chester, look. Outside, this way, not the door that's open right in front of you, Chester. Let's go outside. This outside. I got you, I got you, I got you. Look, 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 look. Chester, Chester. Why are you making this so hard? Get your silly butt out there. Go. Thank you. I'll throw my up in a minute. Why? Come on, you know what's enough. Good job. Bye. 
We're just gonna throw them each a plate. time their stalls are a little bit worse now that it's winter we're in the summer spring any other time they get to go in and out all day and all night but now they're shut up at night because it gets so cold and occasionally in the morning as well when it's either freezing or snowing or raining they are inside so the stalls are just a little bit worse because of that, but they're not too terrible. Not too bad. I did deep clean and put two bags of shavings in each stall. In Dakota's stall, you can kind of tell that he is a little messy. He loves to push his shavings up on the wall. Um, doesn't bother to really use them. <laughs> but let's get to cleaning. There's still some really good shavings up under here that have not been touched just yet. A great day when I can take it out in one wheelbarrow. taking a little nap. Lazy day. I don't think you can roll uphill. Whoa. <laughs> oh, dummy. <sighs> Clean 
bring in your stall, which is really Dakota's stall for today. But should we clean tonight for you? Here is what Chester's stall looks like. Really, I don't think it's as bad as Dakota's, to be honest. He always just pees right here in like this one area. Uh, he also got two bags of shavings yesterday, so he should have plenty of shavings in here for today. Can I take my wheelbarrow out? You cool with that? Okay. Each stall only being one load is truly a Christmas miracle for today. So after Chester rolled, that one time he got down and rolled again, which is not very normal for him. So I did get him out and give him some Banamine and some Ulcergard just in case he has a little tummy ache. But he's been standing for well over 30 minutes. I'm walking him just a little bit. But while I did that, we did go ahead and do all the water buckets. So all the water buckets are clean for him. And he is going to have to be in his stall for the rest of the day. And tonight when you see his feed, he will be getting an alfalfa mash instead of completely his grain. Just in case. But I think he is doing fine. Um, I'm going to walk him just a little bit more. And then we're going to go dig my hay steamer out of the stud wall of the horse trailer. That thing's been going everywhere with us. So it's in there right now. You feel better? He didn't want to eat the alfalfa that was out there either, which is really weird for him because he is very, very chunky. He likes to eat a lot if you let him. So I gave him the medicine, walked him around just a little. I don't overwalk if they're not really trying to actively go down because then you're just going to tire him out. But he has been standing for over 30 minutes, has not tried to go down. So I'm going to walk him just a little bit more. And then he is sadly going to be stuck in a stall just so he doesn't eat too much and just so we can watch him better. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Rough day, isn't it? He let me, hey, he let me sit in the stall with him. You can't eat anything. He let me sit in the stall with him. So I'll probably put some funny videos of that. You can't eat. Okay, he's feeling a lot better. But I love to be proactive just in case. I never want to wait. You quit. 
and have something get worse because I ignored it. So now he's gonna get to go back in his stall. I'm gonna leave the halter on, but he's gonna go back in his stall while we go get the hay steamer. He's only gonna be allowed to eat steamed alfalfa. I should have been steaming it, I wasn't. I don't know if maybe there was any mold in the alfalfa, definitely not that you could see, but we're gonna cover every possibility here. He also drank a ton of water in his stall, so that's great. Before I go get the hay steamer, I've been putting all my attention on Chester and forgot to let Dakota back in his stall. So let's move the hay gain forager over and let Dakota in. That way Chester can also have his friend to visit with. I'm gonna drive over to go get the hay steeper because I'm not I'm not carrying it. So be right back after I shut Dakota's stall door. Silly girl. <laughs> he will escape for sure. He would be out and gone before I got back. Camera doesn't love it in here. It usually tries to fall. But we're gonna whip it to go get the hay steamer. It's not super heavy, but it's just like awkward to carry because it's big. It's starting to get colder. Sun's bright, which is terrible. I did not think I would be at the barn this long. Chester kind of changed my plans, but anything for Chester. Nobody can have any tummy aches on my watch. It's not allowed. The hay steamer's in the stud wall. So we're gonna have to kinda dig it out. We've arrived. The hay steamer is like kind of right at the bottom, thankfully. Okay. We'll have to give it a good little like rinse out because it hasn't been used since the last time we hauled, which really isn't that long ago, but I'm gonna spray it out just to be safe and clean. The actual like heavy steamer part should just be right in here. Yeah. Look how that's in here. You got it. There are also a lot of spider webs, which is terrifying. Now to whip it back <laughs> just from where we came from. And we tried to give him grain, or like a handful, and he didn't want it before we gave the medicine and that's um, weird, very weird for him. But after I sat with him for 20 minutes and he never went down and then I walked him and that's when he was dragging me trying to get alfalfa and hay and he seems okay. I just don't like that alfalfa. It's so loud. I made Chester an alfalfa mash. He gobbled it up, which is good. I opened his door back up. I threw 
the alfalfa that was on the ground for him over to Dakota's side so Dakota could eat it instead. He's out there just like nibbling what was on the ground, which is great. He was not wanting to eat at all before. He's doing a lot better. I've kept him in the cell probably 40 minutes, 45 minutes watching him. So now we're gonna spray out this alfalfa, or <laughs> now we're gonna spray out the hay steamer to use. I'm only gonna steam enough of this alfalfa for in the morning and then we're ditching the rest of it not gonna feed it at all and go get alfalfa from someone else and i'll be steaming on my alfalfa religiously from now on i just got a little lazy i'm sorry i don't know if that's 100 percent what happened but just in case Chester's covered in alfalfa from his mash. I'm just gonna do all we need again for a little bit tonight for Dakota and then in the morning for both. And I think I'm just gonna do one flake in the morning until we get the new alfalfa. So we're just gonna steam three. And I've been looking at all of them for mold that you can see, but there is mold that's not visible to the human eye, so that's awesome. I'm really sorry. You said your stomach hurt. You can't have nothing. make sure it gets really steamy in here that's all the alfalfa so let's fill up the little steamer over there i just realized that i left the lid to the hay steamer somewhere in the horse trailer so i will be right back painfully i'll be right back okay i got it now i'm just going to use the funnel to fill up the little steamer part this is the part that heats up the water and turns it into steam to kill all the bad stuff in your hay okay. once i plug it in it'll be on and it'll take it 60 minutes to be done steaming So now I'm going to set a 60 minute timer, make sure that runs its course and kills any mold spores that might be in there. There we go. Now we just wait. Uh, Chester is acting much better. He's begging for food. He's walking in and out. He has not tried to go down in well over an hour. So he's doing really good. He was never very sick. He was never in like immense pain or anything, but I can just know when he's a little off and when something's not quite right so I like to jump on it and not let it get past that point at all I'm not a sit around and wait kind of person so that is how I make sure my ponies do not get super sick and are feeling good Chester had a really big scare like two years ago and almost died so especially now I'm very on it if anybody tries to call it it's not happening what are you talking about you want something Dakota's just, Dakota's having a great time eating out of his forage. That has to cool at least for an hour. You can see how hot it is. <laughs> it got really, really hot and steamy in there. So that has to cool for an hour before I can feed it to anybody. Chester's really upset about that. Chester wants food right now now i'm gonna run home i ordered zorro a new blanket because zorro's blanket was old and he needed a new one so i'm gonna go get that out of the box it was delivered today so we're gonna go see zorro we're gonna take zorro his blanket and then once we're done with that we'll come back here and 
feed them again since Chester had his little scare today. He's just gonna get a mash for dinner with some grain, not a whole lot of grain, and then Dakota's fun. Dakota gets his normal dinner. So when we get back, that should be completely cooled off and ready to go. The light is so bad here. <laughs> Zorro is warm and ready for winter. Hey guys. Yum. Mm hmm There you some stain. Water in here. The first mash. Main man. I'm making your dinner. I'm now. Look at if you think it'll be. He had quite a bit of alfalfa in his mash early. I'd go easier on my alfalfa and yeah. put a little bit more grain. And I'll just do kind just, of. Just, I wouldn't get it like sloppy, sloppy wet. Just. Less than that. Nah, that's good. It is? Okay. I'm just going to let that soak for a minute in there before we give it to him. So good. Wait. <laughs> We're gonna shut their doors for the night and I'll get their blankies on while they eat. There's not any dogs up here. Do you think we could bring him in or? Oh, Dixie. But she's fine. Okay. I just wanna get all this done. Done first. Before. Yeah. Then I'll get my crazy rowdy dog. <laughs> a sweet thing. Kind of yelling at me. I know, I heard he was hollering. <laughs> he still has a profit in here. Okay. You getting bored of it? Maybe. That is good. Love to sweep it. I'm gonna dump Kite's water and then we're gonna fill it up. He still has alfalfa all strewn in there. So I'm probably just gonna give him like half a plate. Go get that kite. Let's see, where's my food, girl? Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yum. 